Today, we're going to be talking about the Fortnite Lamborghini collaboration. That's right. There has been a ton of leaks found within the files, and we're going to be covering everything to do with these new vehicles. But not only that, we're also going to be going over some crazy glitches, such as how to get essentially infinite health, how to fly into the air, and a ton of other stuff. And speaking of which, guys, if you think it would be awesome to hop onto Fortnite today and see that you unlocked this skin right here, quick, leave a like on the video and also make sure to subscribe. Now, guys, before we hop into the stuff to do with the Mustang, there was recently discovered this glitch that is honestly insanely OP. And in order to do it, you need to go down to Steamy Springs. This is the only location that the glitch can be done. But again, this is honestly insanely overpowered. Now, in order to do this, you first need to find a vehicle, which um, usually they spawn out in front, but none did this time. That's fantastic. But luckily, Mega City is pretty close, so it's pretty easy to find a car. But once you have a car, you then want to go all the way back to Steamy Springs and then drive into the location and bring it up to the right side. You can technically do this in any area that has the uh, water that heals you, but the tough part is getting the car to flip over so that it kicks you out while in the water. So like sometimes this side over here is the best. It's honestly a lot tougher than it seems. Oh no, and of course we're getting fired at by some dude. That's just annoying. But yeah, if we can flip the car over. Oh, that might've been good. Oh, we're so close. Okay, so it turns out you don't actually have to get it stuck upside down you just have to exit the car when it's upside down in the water oh did i do it oh my gosh i got it yo i didn't think i would get it on that one but as you can see the glitch worked we now have the healing effect outside of the hot springs which as you can obviously tell is insanely overpowered but but considering that the glitch is honestly like a 10 out of 10 difficulty it's honestly kind of balanced but yeah check that out we're at full health right now and if i like jump and take some fall damage it'll continue to heal us no matter what. And what the? There's a glitched butterfly in this location? <laughs> Why is there just a butterfly sitting there? If I try to get closer, it disappears. That's so weird. But I do want to see if this like keeps us at full HP in the first storm. And it does! Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yo, so you can literally sit in the first storm without taking any damage. Now then guys, talking about a bit of update info that starts to ease into the stuff that has to do with the Lamborghini that we'll talk about a little bit later. But basically, Basically, Fortnite is planning to add a brand new racing mode into the game in the very near future. According to iFireMonkey, he says that Fortnite's upcoming racing mode, codenamed Del Mar, will feature a death race mode. Currently, not much is known about this mode except for the placeholder playlist icon, which is this picture as you can see right here. Now, he did go on to give us a bit more info, such as that there is a ranked system for this, including different difficulties of maps. Like, for example, the expert maps are Sweet Jump, Asan Circuit, Turbine Drift Mania, which sounds really fun. And then a bunch of normal maps like Rally, Facade, and Infinity. But already this mode is starting to sound super crazy, like a death race? That sounds really intense. But not only that, there's apparently going to be some sort of time trials feature, which would obviously make sense. And then those times will be put on a global leaderboard for you to compete against other players. Now, obviously it seems like they're also going to make this an entire event with rewards and items to unlock. And it has apparently been leaked that it's going to have its own sort of mini battle pass similar to the events like Jujutsu Kaisen which we had recently and that just seems super exciting but obviously it leads into the idea of having a featured car. I wonder which car that could be. Now before we get into the specific stuff that has to do with the Lamborghini I also found this map recently that is basically a concept for another collab Fortnite could do featuring this car right here. Now I'm not sure the specific model of this car but this Fortnite map places it on the map and actually lets you drive it and you can even do things like open up the hood which is super cool like I've never seen a map that does that or you can like open the doors as you can see take a look inside this is like one of those things that you can only do in creative 2.0 we can even open up the back there's not a whole lot back there <laughs> or what's this we can change the color oh look at that a bunch of different colors popped up let's change it to I want the blue oh that's sick but not only that as I said earlier you can actually drive this car around and admittedly it's a little bit wonky because I think it's like attached to a drift board but it does work the wheels spin you can actually control it and move around I mean again as a concept it's definitely pretty sick oh and there we go it's moving a little bit smoother now even the wheels move that's really cool now before we get into the specific details about the brand new vehicle there is yet another glitch that 
I gotta show you. And while we're heading over there, we can't forget about the skin challenge on last video, which was Doctor Strange. Here's a bunch of people that got that right. This time around, comment down below if you know the name of this skin, and I'll leave hearts on a ton of the ones that get that right. In fact, this one kind of allows you to fly. So first things first, you're going to need two players, so find yourself a teammate, and then you need to find two specific items. The first of which is a pizza party, as we just found right here, and the second item are some balloons. And I actually ended up finding three pizza parties, so I can hopefully get this right. But basically, you want to give your teammate your balloons, have them use two of the balloons, and then throw down a pizza right above them. So obviously, you'll need a ceiling in between you two. Once you got that, you're going to stand on top of the pizza, break the floor beneath the pizza, which should have it land on the balloons. Now your teammate can release the balloons, which will cause you to fly up into the air on top of the pizza which is crazy look at how high up we're going that's honestly insane how fast it goes and oh no we're falling are we going to survive oh my gosh we did that's actually surprising but yeah it's a pretty funny glitch with the balloons and by the way guys while we're in mega city i gotta ask you all a question about a possible myth that has to do with the old vault over in this corner now i don't know if this is some sort of mandela effect but obviously there used to be a vault where this wall is now but i feel like at the start of this season you could still go into the vault also i just noticed that the walls have water running down the sides that's kind of weird but yeah did they change that at the beginning of this season or in the recent update but i mean at least there's one slurp barrel so that's kind of cool and as a bonus secret if you go over to this specific building i may have shown you guys this before but i gotta remind you that there's this secret spot inside of the elevator if you use the zip line up you can go to this elevator and hop through the top of it to get into this cool secret room that even has a secret loot spawn. But yeah, this still exists this season, so that's pretty cool. But with all of that stuff, guys, we gotta finally circle around back to the Lamborghini, which goes back to that, like, death race event that Fortnite's going to be added. Because within the files for that, not only are we going to be getting rewards through a battle pass, but there's been rumors of a way to customize cars. That's right. Also, according to leakers, there's going to be a brand new garage with unique car cosmetics. Now, obviously, we don't know a whole lot about those cosmetics quite yet, but it definitely seems that this is shaping up to be time for a new collab. Like, for example, a collab with Lamborghini. We've talked about it before, but we already know that Fortnite can do these types of collabs, considering that way back when they introduced the Ferrari into the game, and you could literally drive that around. That was so much fun. But then, considering that Epic Games' other game, Rocket League, already has the Lamborghini as a vehicle that you can use in that game, so it would be pretty simple, I would figure, for them to add a Lamborghini into Fortnite, which would be insane. I would love to see that so much. And again, with this brand new garage, I think it's really likely. But then, guys, I got a pretty funny Easter egg I gotta show you, and also a hiding spot. But as for the Easter egg, we're going to use my brand new Mythic Battle Lab map, which gives you a ton of mythics and movement, and lets you explore the map with almost unlimited time. So I'll put the code on the screen for that. But yeah, for the little Easter egg, I think we have to maybe go down through these doors somewhere in here there's a pretty funny piece of art because you know that these locations have really intriguing art pieces that Kato likes to collect like that is just a straight up heart but okay no it wasn't down there so maybe it's up here and check that out we just got 96,000 XP from playing this map for like seven minutes so that's pretty crazy oh wait I think it's up here yes it is finally I found it it's around the corner right here there's a tiny little painting of Kato Thorn that I just think is super funny. That they have all of this other giant expensive art and paintings and then the tiniest little picture is behind the red rope. Just so you don't touch it. I'm curious though, does it give you materials if we break it? It does! It gives you five pieces of wood. That's incredible. But then for the hiding spot, if we go over to Eclipsed Estate and then immediately go down to the lower portion of the building or like semi-lower portion. Yeah, right down here, we can run past this turret into this hidden bedroom. Or sorry, it's not really a hidden bedroom. What I meant to say is that there's a hidden spot back here behind this bed, which is oddly shaped like a coffin, I just noticed, which I guess makes sense considering that Kato is a vampire. But yeah, there's this 
this whole lot of space back here. I think sometimes loot can spawn in this area, but um, either way, it makes for a really good hiding spot. I wonder if we can get anybody to run by here. I'm not sure. Oh, there was a person right there. I just saw him. Uh-oh. Are these people teaming? What is going on? Or did I play duos? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know what is happening. Why are they teaming up? That doesn't seem fair. Either way, the key is to not let them see you go into the hiding spot. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications as well as check out some of my other videos that are popping up on the screen right now. Got some really fun ones that you should go watch and I'll see you in the next one.